I'm Heather and I'm an interior designer. I'm Rania and I'm also an interior designer and we're from 4 Design Studio. Originally my father bought this house about 10 or 15 years ago. I think overall I like very monochromatic spaces. That's where Rania came in and helped and we created this space together. And a space that really truly represents who she is and who her husband is. When you enter the space, you enter right into our living room. A lot of the pieces came from our existing apartment. We had a sectional which can actually be flipped and to bring some more light in because it is a semi, we don't have a lot of windows on the left or right side. So adding some mirrors throughout helps to draw more light into the space. Using a coffee table that was more transparent because we have a darker sofa, we wanted to keep things around it lighter and airier. And then generally to ground the space, we used an area rug to differentiate between the living room and then the rest of the space. From the living room area, we move right into the dining room. Surprisingly, we were able to fit a significantly large table. And it worked because we kept everything else pretty minimal. So we only have the sideboard and the table itself and everything else is basically hung on the wall with artwork and mirrors and things like that and the sconce that we have in the back there as well to help fill the wall space without feeling like the space is too cluttered itself. In the kitchen, we thought of updating it and why not go really dramatic? We painted it dark black because the floors are significantly lighter. We did a subway tile backsplash to give that bistro flair. I think with the darker cabinets, it makes it more glamorous than it would have been another color. And I think also adding the brass accents also helped update it with the cup holes on the doors and then also the faucet as well is all brass and helps kind of just bling up the space a bit more. With the back room, we basically painted it the darker color again to pull in the tone of the kitchen and kept everything else pretty light. So the desk is white. We painted some IKEA shelving in a gold to again add some of that brass feature that ties into the kitchen and some greenery, which was really important because it helped just give some life to that space. That was our somewhat introduction to a color into that space without having to commit to something. We wanted to do a gender neutral space, not knowing if the baby was gonna be a boy or girl. And I think too, as a child grows, it can transform into perhaps like another baby's nursery or they can interject their own favorite colors as they get older. The jumping off point was the wallpaper that we have on one of the back walls and then interjected black and white neutral pieces and more recently pops of pink and gold to make it a little bit girly because <laughs> I'm ecstatic about how the space turned out. I think it really represents Heather and Michael, her husband. And again, even the nursery is a perfect representation of their beautiful daughter. We're very happy with how everything turned out. I wouldn't do anything differently. We would maybe just do more projects. So, the life we'll of the designer. Yeah. <laughs>